for the next fan phaser so configure yung IPv6 address so we're doing fan phaser since it's any one uh, v6 version 6 so but for version 7 uh, fan phasers uh, you can also refer to this uh, videos okay. I think they are the same so the only difference is the model number okay so look on image <laughs> then also email me okay configuring ipv6 addresses so this is our favorite part we have a completion tracker here so addressing table we have devices here for router one what is the sales okay sales so it's a desktop billing a laptop accounting it, it's a server and design engineering and CAD so it's also uh, the same devices so but it's configured with s2 or s2 okay we have the interfaces and then there, there's uh, their addresses, you know, their IPv6 addresses. Then the default gateway is the link local address of our router, so FEAT colon colon one. So the objectives of this path user activity is configure v6 addressing on the router, uh, on servers for part two, part three is for clients, and part for part four is test and verify network connectivity. So the background is in this activity you will practice configuring v6 uh, addresses, IPv6 addresses on the router, servers, clients. You will also practice verifying, verifying your IPv6 addressing implementation. Okay, so for part one, okay, so we have the so the subnetting is on the chapter eight. So we'll just uh, follow the flow here. So we have the subnet IDs, okay. Subnet IDs. Okay. So enter the, the router to forward V6 packets. So the sound for the part one is configure V6 address in the router. Step one is enable router to forward IPv6 packets. So enter the V6 unicast routing global configuration command. So because it is not uh, default for router to forward uh, V6 packets. Okay, so this command must be configured to enable the router to forward business packets. So this command will be discussed in the later semester. So router one is of oh, okay, it's IPv6 unicast routing. So we're going to see this uh, global configuration uh, or global configuration command. So IP IPv6 unicast routing. Okay. So next, what? So it's only uh, one point. Step two is configure IPv6 addressing on the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So it's done R1. Okay. So click uh, R1 and then CLI tab. Press enter, refresh mode. Enter the command size right transition to interface configuration mode for gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So I'll figure the IPv6 with the following command. So IPv6 address. I think this is the IP address for okay, the interface. Then also we will need to configure the link local v6 address. Okay. So activate the interface. First step three is okay, for uh, IPv6 inter uh, addressing on the gigabit. 0 slash 1 okay refer to the addressing table okay we can also so the same with the 0 slash 0 gigabit internet so next is so it's also for the serial interface of the route we will also configure the v6 address and the link local address okay let's see this is uh, pretty easy naman. Uh -huh. So from uh, we need to access the interfaces, the interface T0 slash 0. So IPv6 address. So we have 201, colon, db8, 
colon 1 um, colon so it means that in this column we have the segment for all zero zero segments so slash 64 then for the link local address IP address so F E A T colon colon 1 link local then we need to activate the interface next is for G0 slash 1 interface so IPv6 is I think the only difference is this one the sub subnet ID then our, our link local address so it is also the same then our shutdown okay. so for serial interface so the v6 address would be so 201 dv8 should be 2 here we don't have dv8 1 we have this column here a001 a001 that is the subnet ip and then the link local address so is also the same then activate the interface <coughs> so next is uh, configure v6 addressing on the server so click ipv6 uh, configure v6 on the accounting server so click accounting and click desktop so set ipv6 address Okay. We also need to specify four CAD servers. Okay. So configure v6 on the clients. Configure v6 addressing of sales and billing clients. Okay. We need to also affect the billing. And design. So the, on the desktop for IP configuration. So just setting it now statically and reconfiguring it. So, engineering and design clients. So, I think this is pretty easy. Literally easy. So, you just need to copy this. The stuff. So, first for the sales, so we have this IP address. Then this is slash 64 and our no, it's not a link local address but it's the default gateway. It is for the it's the link local address of the router. So the configuration just copy this. Mm. Design we have also sixty four. It will be SFAT current order. For 
add Okay, now we have 100% completion. Okay, test and verify network connectivity. Open the server web pages from the client. Click sales and click test up tab. Okay, web browser. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll just... For all the okay, let's see. server, go, jump to server, go, add server, for building, building Crawford, okay. design, Server. So, okay, we're addressing it. Oops. We're not counting. We have a browser. Let's see if we can access it. Okay. So, on the server, we can also access the server. Next is in the ISP. Open the client computer configuration window by clicking the icon. So click the desktop tab. Okay, ping the connectivity to ISP. Okay. Copy ping with command with other clients until full connectivity is verified. Okay, we just need to ping this from our command prompt. Paste. Getting my reply. That's it.